Hello everyone, my name is Counter Games and welcome back to the channel. Just before we begin, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and follow me on my social media in the description below. And I'm proudly very excited to announce, welcome to Biomutant, I've been waiting two months for this game. Really excited, let's just get into this. Into the game. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand oh, divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. All right. Welcome to Biomutant. Thank you. Right, before we do anything, uh, speech. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that's all fine. Music, turn you down. Uh, do, 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 do. A bit too bright, to be honest. All right. Let's um, get into this, shall we? I'm excited. Hello. Yeah. Hell. Oh. There we go. Encode your DNA. Yes! Right. <sighs> Choose breed. Primal is it? Is a nimble development and a breed of hybrid of gene mutations. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be a primal. It looks really cool to me. It's got a weird mouth though. <laughs> uh, so primal. So I have to see more sound. Define your genetic structure. Oh, hello. Right, I want to go for. Um, like I want to go fast but strong. Guessing like oh, I don't know. Um, I feel like uh, trying to be average if I can, can't I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's all got all right. Choose a genetic resilience. Oh, okay. Um, uh, biohazard heats. I don't know. Oh, look. His arm changes colour. Oh, I'm going to go for the biohazard look. But I'm going to try, actually. Get it even. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Choose your first style. Huh. Oh, you guys, cool. What type of fur do I want? I don't know, I might go for the, ge the generic look. Yeah. Um, actually, I like the white. Yeah. Pick your main colour. Here we go. Oh, I could do like a blue or something like that, yeah. Oh, I might actually go for the blue. Choose your detail color. <laughs> you go for like a blue and a black. Can I? Yeah. Ah, da, da, da. Blue. I like the blue look, so. But. Pick your main color. Back from it, because I want to like. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna go for green. Uh, I like blue though. Right. Choose your detail color. So blue. I'm just gonna go white. Yeah. Pick a class. There you go. Commando. Death mercenary. Ah, uh, mercenary is the uh, one I got because I got the um, pre-order. I'm gonna go for mercenary because I like the idea of him. Mercenary chosen. Nice. Look at him. I like it. Good choice. 
Thank you. Oh, you get right into it. Oh, okay. somebody with a troubled past. Hello. Born into the spotlight of a story that's already <laughs> begun. Oh wow. Ooh, I like how the gameplay of the controller is already bunny up. Okay. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or right. simply stop living. Left or right. Uh hmm. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal uh, energy that flows through... Uh, freedom and loyalty. Yeah. Let me introduce myself. Ah. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you... That's right. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. Um. Sticking to the me first part. It's the only way we'll be going places. Uh, I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that, you know. You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obvious. It's going God. You're trying to keep us in the dark here, but you know it's blue blood in our veins and what it means. We have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. <laughs> right, okay. So let's go. Yeah, let's go light. Should we turn down the brightness a little bit more actually? Because that is very bright. Uh video. Change brightness. Let's put it down to fifty. Yeah, I guess better. What was it? Oh, I just saw that. Yes, camera mode. Yes. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Oh, look how cool he is now. Ah. Uh, my story begins with you, my friend. All right. right let's carry on. Always right. Yep. Let's go. Oh, I got a gun. Oh, I can dodge. So my attack is jump. Oh, that's a parry. That's a cool way of changing weapons, I guess. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. Oh, damn. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Yeah, we're gonna meet that, aren't we now? Do, 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 do. do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You eh. turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Hmm. Uh, oh Jesus Christ, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. Fucking Matrix. Ow. Parry. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Gotcha. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, hello. What's that on his back? You better make a run for it. This is not the time yeah. or place to end this story. Ow. Okay. Run. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty cool fighting, actually. I like the combat in it and that game. This game already. Mind of the Matrix a little bit. Hmm. 
You can barely even see the name Biomutant, bloody hell. Yeah. Seems fun already. Games run quite nice as well, so that's good. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Mm. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Bunker 101. That doesn't sound good. Run. Yeah, shut the door. Oh, okay. Oh, that happened. Uh, oh no, I've got little guys on me. It's like a light. That's pretty cool. Oh, this doesn't look good. Um. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. How are they supposed to be mo naked mole rats? Move forward to an enemy to target them with melee. Wee! Ow! Got one. King. I like the mercenary already. It's got my type of style. Dead. Mm, poor down on the ground. Is there anything around here? Big door. Bunker 101. Ooh, hello. What's this? I'll grab it. Alright, cool. I like this a lot. You found a medic? Okay, that's handy. Alright, so that does that. Ooh, we've got two ways to go. Let's go that way, so let's go this way. Now. Oh my god, look how big I am. I'm really small. Better human, yeah. Oh no. I'll fire it off. I thought that. Oh, that's handy. Let's go climb the chain, huh? Hand up, hand up, further you go. <laughs> okay. Wow. The oil sludges everywhere. For most, it only means death. Ow! Some oh, Jesus. adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Yep. Ah, he just stepped on me. Chop, chop. Yeah, I should really learn to parry more. Get off me. Ah. Out. 
Okay, there you go. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just like, yeah, okay. Um, is that over? Oh, it means, yeah, okay, don't go in here, it means bad. All right, <laughs> fair enough. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Bah. Got ya. Ow. I know. That's a good find. Is it? Uh, anything over? No, this is tar. All right, let's go. This game already is beautiful, I think. Amazing, it's, it was worth the wait. Like, ooh. Some of you can carry our shields, you need to break the shields. Nope. Ow. Ow. Jesus. So I do that. So look at these things with gear. What have I got? Okay. Alright, so I'll put it in vigilance. Yeah. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare The sight. once was. It's a crowbar. An old uh, crawl bar. I like the name of that. Crawl bar. 
Here we go. Alright, cool. So we're going to use the crowbar in this a bit. No, no, maybe not. Very flimsy, you are. Looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. The crab. I love the name of it. Open wide. Oh, I got to do it myself. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> oh, ow! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Okay, all right. Voice in my head. Uh, uh, that doesn't look good. What's that? The morks produce biomatter in a multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Swoo. Nice. Okay, so you do really need to get combos in this. In the air you go. Oh, look at that. Ow. Go away. Around here? No? Okay, let's go. Up the chain. Oh, is that an item over there? Yes, it is. Damn it, how do I get to that? There's got to be a way to get to that. That is a chest, isn't it? How do you get to it then? That doesn't seem right. Oh, I guess it can't yet, maybe? I don't know. Let's just go. Reload. That gun is huge compared to him. Love it. Hello? Anyone here? God. Makes you think what happens to humans, doesn't it? Well, I... Toxinol built vessels called arcs. To save themselves from the impending. Oh, okay, humans left then. Was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Hmm. Hello. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new parts. Okay. I'm not really that good with puzzles. Well, I am, but. Done. Oh, okay. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they mm. were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. 
It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Oh. Okay. Alright, so there's a bit of story there. It's nice, nice to know they've got some lore. Good lore, actually, it seems well. Hmm. The Hello? sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. Pew pew. <laughs> it's coming pew, pew. behind that door. Oh, yeah, we just won't go there then. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Let's go hit it. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. No, it won't. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Done. There you go. There you go. There, there you go. So who is it fighting? Wait, it's fighting without me. No. Ooh. Perfectly counter enemy attack will stun them. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Close encounter. Shot. All right. I love these kind of combos actually. I'm loving it already. Flash the slash. Okay, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> All right. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Yeah, we want to just loot their bodies. Looting all bodies. Wow. Nice. Is that everything in here? Wait, no, there's a rope here. Where's this go? Um, why can't I? Oh, I guess you. I guess you just can't. All right, never mind. Let's go. Hey, wheelchair. Wheelie, where you go? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. All right. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil. Oops. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's no doubt you're the child. And that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Named. Yeah, you mawa. Good He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the world eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close, 
He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Uh... Oh, hello. <laughs> Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are. This that means mum. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. Aww. He understands why you came all the way out here <laughs> to see them, the Potato People. The Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Okay. I love them already. You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay. I'm very confused, but yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. Wow, pretty. I run. Oh, oh, are you going all forced to run? I like that. Pretty cool. So the no nose and ah, oh, that's the glitter gla glitter grass there. Oh, well, pretty. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Elvis. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. I didn't destroy his home. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. All It'll right. be the heart of the land. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key, the primal energy. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Oh, yeah. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Hmm. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 2012 months to come, so countless, he'd say. 
One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Like a little kitty. Yeah, it looks like a little kitty at the moment. I like the idea though of like mutations. In the Japanese culture as well, with like ki and all that. Energy, yin yang. Yeah. And Japanese arc style as well. It's beautiful, this game, I think. Just a game that I like. Hello. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Muma will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Hmm. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Muma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Yeah, fair enough. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. Hmm. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. Hmm? His friend Gizmo is working on a mechton Gizmo. and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east. The names are so weird. Finally, Goop is almost done with the goo glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Okay.
Hmm. Alright. Alright, well, I'm going to end it there now. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on my social medias. Ciao.